In this video, Kevin and I are going to be going over our dislikes and likes for the month of August. And we have all kinds of stuff to share with you. What? Fortunately for us, we only have two dislikes, but, uh, and one of them was just horrific. I'll, I'll, um, I'll share with you this one first. Uh, this is the Jar Joy. Uh, we bought this at Sam's Club and there were two flavors in the the box and so this is the chocolate tuxedo i wrote on there vanilla tastes rancid um <laughs> and awful. someone else commented and said uh, they didn't like it either um and then a lot of people said i'd been looking at those i'm glad you told me uh we actually uh have seen this brand also sold at aldi in the actual, in the freezer section at Aldi. So, um, it was just not good. No. I don't mean not at all. No. <laughs> um, and Save then, your money. And then this was absolutely like one of the most disgusting thing, things I've ever eaten in my life. This is the um, 3, Gosh. 2, 1 Glow Collagen and Brownie. This is the Birthday Cake Blondie. We found this at the checkout at Big Lots. They still have them. And I'm thinking, when are they going to get rid of those things? I, I just feel sorry for anybody, uh, any unsuspecting person who is walking up and thinking, oh, birthday cake, and they're buying this. I wrote on here, rancid must be the word of the month tasted rancid so bad i had to spit it out yeah so if you watch that review you don't see me spit stuff out i just usually i just you know i, I might not like it but i'll swallow it whatever this was not going down mm. I, it no i didn't think it was as bad as you i thought it was pretty bad but uh, mm. i ate it disgusting <laughs> i ate it but i didn't in, i didn't enjoy it and that was 250 at big lots yeah so both of those were horrible. Yeah. Um, so now we're gonna move into all the things we enjoyed. And if I always tell you this, in case someone's new here, if it made it into this video, there's a lot of things we like, there's a lot of things we, we don't like, but if it made it into this video, it was like we absolutely hated it or we really, really loved it. Um, so Jennifer and Kevin, uh, Jennifer is French and they go back every year to visit with her family, and they were so kind, uh, Jennifer and her husband Kevin, they live in California, but they bought us some stuff while they were in France and mailed it to us. So this is the nougat, and it is, uh, it's just egg white, almonds, honey, and it, it was delicious. Mm -hmm. It was not like what we're used to no. here. And a good texture too. Mm -hmm. The closest thing we came to that is the stuff sometimes From you Germany. can get home goods. In oh, Germany, but yeah. That, yeah that, that but they sell some of it at Home Goods too. That's pretty decent. Yes, and then this this was wonderful. These were strawberry cherry and raspberry jellies, mm -hmm. and we after we reviewed these because we were like, gosh, those are so good. And I was wondering if they would sell them in World Market because, you know, World Market has all kinds of stuff. They really don't have, as French far as stuff. French things, they do, but it's not like... Not a lot. Stuff like that. And they don't have a lot either. It's just a few no. things. Yeah. So, no, they do not sell this there. Uh, so, uh, but the, this was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Love it. Was, it. it was awesome. Kind of like gummy stack, snacks on steroids. <laughs> like I, good, really super really, above, way up oh, gummy yes. or fruit snacks. Yes. And then Joey, Joey sent us these horrors. He actually sent us uh, three of the horrors. These were, um, they had a competition and they had a whiz wit, which was cheese and they had the ketchup and then they had the, the long hots, which is like a jalapeno flavor. These are the ones that won. So if you, if you didn't, uh, I said it during a vlog, a weekly vlog, but if you don't watch those, the long hots are the ones that I that won, and those were my favorite, and the ketchup were Kevin's favorite. The long hots were good. They were just too hot for me. For Kevin, yeah. yeah. But he still liked the flavor of yeah. them. Uh, but yeah, Joey sent us those from Pennsylvania, because we don't get, we get some hires, but we don't get like special. Things. Right. So we get the basics. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and then uh there was one more thing these were sent to me from the company and so then we'll be then we'll get into stuff that we bought ourselves uh mascot mascot pecan uh sent me a a box of goodies because they saw one of my videos and they appreciated it and 
these mascot pecan is just a very good company mm -hmm. we've done yeah, a lot of videos good. Um, and not because they sent me stuff, but because we did the videos, you know, I didn't, I never know who's going to be watching. We just give you our opinion, you know. Um, but these were the sweet Georgia heat pecans. You really need to have, like something different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were good though. Um, and then these are the glazed pecans and these are cinnamon glazed pecans. I mean, oh, take your pick. Yeah. yeah, you can't go wrong. I mean, I love the packaging as well, but just the, the product is what's important, not the packaging. And I mean, they have uh, uh, they have it down pat. They know what they're doing. Yeah, we've gotten some beautiful packaging before those horrible products. <laughs> yes, it's like, okay, quit spending money on the packaging and work yeah, on the product. Let's work on your product yes. first. Uh, I'll tell you the worst company for that is that Too Good Gourmet. Too Good Gourmet has all kinds of different packaging. and they Different try, names. They try to catch you. Um, they try to catch you at, at Tuesday morning and Hum Goods, and they'll put, they'll have different packaging and it's it, it, different sizes, different shapes. But if you look close, it says Too Good Gourmet, and we're like, uh, no. Sometimes no, no, no. it's a different company name on there too. It was Too Good Gourmet or something else. Yeah. Yes, and it's it's yeah, same company. It's absolutely disgusting, it's and I good. yeah, I can't believe they're still in business. Um, You've got a lot more than I do. You, can you feel me. like I do? Well, I mean, I can do these. Yeah, I think you've got a lot more in yours. Okay, right, so these are the Hawaiian hosts. These are, I don't know how to say that. Pauhana? Pauhana? Pauhana. That's just how we're going to say it. And this is the Rocky Road to Paradise. These were candy bars we bought in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. um, they were excellent. They were just yeah. awesome. This one is, it looks like pretzels. Yeah, pretzels. No, macadamia and uh, chocolate. Sorry. That does look like it has pretzels on it. Though, doesn't it? it says... I can look on the bottom. Yeah, pretzel pieces. Okay. I looked on the other side. It says pretzel. And this one is uh, macadamia and marshmallows. So these are both just awesome. A lot of these things in here, you know, we're collected on. We tried them at the very, very beginning of the month. Mm -hmm. And so I can't remember every single detail about every, you know, like every single detail about what was in a candy bar by the end of the month. Because right. we've got a lot here. So well, in the back, I don't expect that, you so. to remember every little detail that was in that candy well, bar. Well, it looked like pretzels. That's why I was it, but it didn't say pretzels on the back, but it doesn't say it on the front. That's why it confused me. We bought those though at the checkout at the ABC store in Hawaii mm -hmm. and absolutely worth buying. Yeah, they're very, very good. Uh, these, uh, this is Niagara chocolates. These are the maple creams. These are dark cups. I really, really like these. Uh, the maple flavor was not a chemical maple. The dark chocolate was nice and, and crisp but it didn't dry your mouth out. And mm. they, they were very, very impressive. So yeah, I'm I like thinking those. I thought they were a little dark, but they're- You they, did, they're I like good. those more than Kevin did. Um, these are, is this going to? Yes. Uh, this is the Dylan's candy bar, and they're candy bars. Uh, one was the oatmeal raisin cookie, vanilla, vanilla cream, and the other one was uh, toasted graham cereal and milk vanilla cream. So Dylan's candy bar, they were, most of them were pretty good, pretty good. There were a couple that were kind of hit or miss, but but most of them were. So both of those were vanilla cream. Vanilla cream, and yeah. those were our favorites. Yeah. We we actually picked up I think twelve candy bars yeah. while we were there. And these are the only ones. That yes. I see. Yes. These were the, these two were like the the, the top. top the yes. Top monkey. Okay. Now we have some Werther's originals. These are the maple creams. And these are just the classic hard candies that have been around forever and ever and ever. Um, Can't be a good boilers. No, I actually did have people though. I said during the video, I said, I can't imagine anybody not trying these, you know, surely they've been around forever. And I did have comments that say, you know, my grandma or my grandpa always has them, but I've never tried them. And I'm like, please take one, <laughs> you know, take one because they're phenomenal. Yeah, it's and like a buttery toffee heat bar, but like better. And somebody said like, if I've never had a Werther's at all, which one should I start with? Well, the classic. Yeah, I'm I would, one too. Even though the, the, chewy, the chewy ones are phenomenal, I would always start with the classic just because that one's been around forever. And if mm. you've never had it, that's where you should start yep. so that you can compare all the other ones to the first. Um, but these maple creams, I, I finished the bag. I, <laughs> I um, had not planned to finish the bag. I put them away and I wasn't going to touch them. And then I kept eating and eating and eating 
and I finished the bag. Uh, they're incredible, absolutely delicious. Once again, just like the Niagara chocolates, not um, chemical. These are not chemical at all. No, they were really good. Fantastic. Okay. And a really good texture too. Mm -hmm. I still think you have more. Okay, okay. I, I will flat. do something else. This, these are the Annie's Organic Graham Sandwiches. They are the birthday cake. They're um, like very, <coughs> excuse me, very, 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 very expensive. Mm -hmm. We bought them at um, Whole Foods, but. We bought uh, another one though that wasn't as good. Right, I think time. it was s'mores. Yeah. And. Yeah, um, we didn't like it as much. And didn't like it as much, but the birthday, it's absolutely delicious from the from the time you open the package it mm -hmm. smells incredible but then the flavor and you only get uh 12. you yeah. get 12 in here and this was probably i don't know it was like six or seven dollars it was ridiculous. it was ridiculously expensive but if you don't care um how much if you have just all the money in the world to buy these every week then hey i'm letting you know they are good if you can afford them or if you want to splurge every once in a while yeah all right this is um this is from a place called It's Sugar, mm -hmm. and uh, that, it was a place we went to in Hawaii, and they basically have candy. Yeah, they did. Um, the, they basically have candy, every kind of candy you can imagine. This one is the potato chip, um, salted potato chip bar. And this is the pop. It's explosively delicious, filled with pop and candy. Yeah. It's, it's milk chocolate with and pop and candy. And they're both in milk chocolate. Uh, these were excellent. They were, um, like, like the other things, we bought a bunch of them. These were our top two. Yes, <clears throat> I'm thinking, <coughs> sorry, I'm th yeah, these were $4.99 a piece is what they say on here. Um, when you go, I said this during the video, when you go to a place like that, you feel like, okay, I'm going to pay that much. Is this going to be like gimmicky? Is it really going to be that good? This was that good. Yeah. This was excellent, excellent candy bars. This store, I don't think is for everybody because... I think some people would be, it would be too much. It would be overload because there's loud music playing. Like if you can go in five below, then you're okay. Cause our five below, like the music's thumping. You're like in a nightclub in there, five below. You can't even have a conversation with each other without there screaming cause it's so loud. So it's sugar, it's like color exploded, candy exploded. There's the little figures of all the candy oh, the mascots and all. Yes, that I posted pictures on my Instagram way back, and this is how big the candy bars are. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're big they're candy good bars. Size. Um, but they're, the music's playing, and there's people everywhere. I yeah, they were loved busy. it. It's colorful, like yeah. a rainbow threw up. It's just absolutely fantastic. Yeah. It was busy because it. it's uh, it's in a mall in Hawaii, and it was fairly new. Mm -hmm. uh, too so it's it was very very busy i bet you it's always going to be that busy because Probably. it's uh, yeah. like bucky's yes it's absolutely <laughs> um this i did not keep the big bag these are members mark which is sam's club these are milk chocolate toffee truffles and they were in a big bag and they're individually wrapped they we were in there just the other day they still have big mm -hmm. bags of them i don't know if that's something they have year round because because we just renewed our membership so it's not like uh, usually we're members for a year and then we'll take some time off and then we'll sign back up and so I don't know if these are available all the time but you should totally buy a bag. Yeah, it's, melt in your mouth. Yeah it's a bag it's this color purple uh, they're absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. The toffee mm -hmm. in them it's crispy toffee pieces in that in that creamy very Literally creamy melt chocolate. Yes wonderful chocolate. Um, these are the Benton's which is an Aldi brand apple cider donut cream cookies so they're like sandwich cookies and uh, we compared to these a lot to like the heb brand they're very similar to the the quality nice. of heb yeah. not quite as soft but they're they're very very good and better than any of the apple flavored oreos we've had yes uh, they're absolutely awesome awesome cookies so if you see them and they're out right now um yeah. if you see these and you go to all and you see them you're safe to buy them if you like apple cider they're really strong apple cider flavor the other thing is they don't come in a resealable bag. So like no. right now we moved them. We just put them in a gallon yeah, Ziploc bag. bag. That's where we put yeah. them. Um, same with these that I'm getting ready to show you. These were the pumpkin spice cake balls. Mm -hmm. Right now oh, I awesome. have them in a gallon size Ziploc bag in my refrigerator. So you buy them refrigerated and I'm keeping them refrigerated. They're only like 130 calories yeah. a piece. I love them. Mm -hmm. I They're think very, very good. they 
are absolutely the texture of them. The texture alone would get you. Oh my god! But then the spice is a nice, um, even, nice spice. It's, it's not, not overwhelming at all. So, like, if you're overwhelmed with a lot of pumpkin spice, if you're afraid to buy a lot of pumpkin spice because you feel like it's going to be heavy, this isn't. And it's just if you've had the cake balls from like Starbucks. This is better. This yeah. is a better texture, but it will remind, it remind, it's like a, a same thing as a cake pop. That's yeah. what I mean. Um, if you've had those cake pops from Starbucks, these are better. Yeah, They're absolutely very, very terrific. Um, we'll stick with the, with the, uh, yeah, go Sam's ahead, Club. Because I have uh, one more thing. This is Maker's Mark uh, milk chocolate s'mores. It's not Maker's Mark. We wish it was Maker's Mark. <laughs> I always Mark. say that. We wish it Members was. Member's Mark. Uh, milk chocolate s'mores bark. So it's like chocolate with grand pieces and marshmallow. You really didn't taste the marshmallow much. It really wasn't no. s'mores, but it was a really good chocolate gram flavor and, and the just the melt in your mouth chocolate feel was just awesome. It was incredibly sweet, yeah. sweet, sweet milk yeah. chocolate. Terrific. And I think the marshmallows probably added to that sweetness, mm -hmm. and, but it didn't really add a lot of flavor to it, but they were excellent. Yes, wonderful. And we uh, put those in a Ziploc bag too, just mm -hmm. so that I could show you the bag. So um, then we have this. This is from Members Mark, Sam's Club. Uh, this is the pumpkin cheesecake. Um, I hope you watch the video because if I could only recommend two things to you right now from Sam's Club, it would be this and those uh, pumpkin cake, cake balls. balls that I just showed you. Um, this cheesecake is... It's better than um, when you buy like the Cheesecake Factory at home. It's better than that. Uh, there's another brand that, that I really, really like and only uh, Meyer sells it. Uh, maybe it's like, I wanna say like Chicago Cheese, no, the Atlanta Cheesecake Company, that's the name of it. I like the Atlanta Cheesecake Company better than the Cheesecake Factory at home. Uh, because the Cheesecake Factory at home is different than getting it at the restaurant. Right. It's different. So my number one would be the Atlanta Cheesecake Company until I had this. This is better. And we have even tried like Trader Joe's way back. And it was a really, really fantastic pumpkin cheesecake. I like this one even better than that. It really doesn't taste much like cheesecake. It's all pumpkin pie kind of flavor. Uh-huh. It tastes like pumpkin it pie. It has the texture of cheesecake, but it tastes like a pumpkin pie. But it has a terrific thick graham cracker mm -hmm. and crust. It's, and it's kind of firm too so uh -huh. you're biting, actually biting into it so I'm just crumbling away yes. nothing. Absolutely yeah, terrific. It was very good, very yes. thick. And next we tried this Francine's Fudge. We tried four different flavors of Francine's Fudge. This is just the chocolate. And we bought this at Tuesday morning. It's always hit and miss, hit or miss, whether it's it's gonna be good or if it's gonna be something, you know, really bad that's that ended up in there. That's pretty bad stuff. <laughs> we have, well, that's a really good stuff uh, too. But we really liked this Francine's Fudge. And it says place it in the refrigerator prior to serving. Of course, I didn't do that because I didn't see that on here. When you buy something, if it's on the shelf, you bring it home and you put it on the shelf. You don't notice the itty bitty writing. Well, it was fine. It did not need to be cold at all. It was perfectly fine. Probably helped firm it up a little Probably, bit. It's cold. It, yeah, it was but it. it was it was delicious chocolate mm, fudge. It was good. That was so. Uh, if you see it, this whole box was three ninety nine. Fudge is expensive. I don't think that's bad for good fudge. No, that's not bad at all. Um, this one is the Foster's Farm Takeout Crispy Wings. Um, in the classic buffalo, and not only did this have a really just an excellent flavor, um, the texture of the chicken itself, because we baked it, um, was just awesome. It did have this like coating on the outside of the chicken that got a little bit crispy. Um, it was just really What's good. on the other side? You have classic buffalo. Oh, I'm sorry. Classic buffalo, I forgot there was two. And the sweet chipotle barbecue. They were both good. They were we both excellent. Them both. Yeah. And you can see the picture of the chicken wings, too. You can tell they're they're just got a really good scald on them. You said <laughs> something to me once that video was over. You said, I wish they sold just, just the, wings. the wings. Yeah, just the chicken and let me do my yeah. own thing on them. Yeah, Kevin would like just for them to do the wings and then for you to be able to, what, dip them in your own stuff? Yeah, maybe I just want, yeah. um, maybe I want my own barbecue When the sauce, video so. was over, he said that, and I thought, <laughs> well, maybe they do sell them. Maybe I just want craft know. barbecue sauce. I like that, or whatever, you But know. those were, those were awesome. Yeah, they were really, they really They were good. wonderful. Okay, these are Riri D's cookie dough. And uh, this is the peanut butter, and this is the oatmeal raisin. 
These were very, very expensive. We bought them at the Fresh Market in the, I think they were in the freezer section, yeah, because they we took them out of the freezer. And you would think that by them saying cookie dough, that like it was like edible cookie dough, like Ben and Jerry's has the edible cookie dough. It's not. These are actually just cookies. They just, they should say cookies, honestly. They should say peanut butter cookies and oatmeal raisin cookies because you have to bake them. Uh, but we tried three. No, and they're in a pouch. Usually you don't see them. You bake cookies in a pouch. No. You're usually in a tray or something. Exactly. And so that was confusing to us that they're calling it cookie dough, but you actually have to bake them. But, um, they, if you're willing to pay the price, like the Annie's Organic I showed you a while ago, if you're willing to pay the price, these are really, really yeah. good. You only get six cookies in each package, and I don't remember how much they were. I just remember complaining about it. Was that the one that said, do not eat raw? Pretty, it's yeah, the, do not consume yeah, raw. Yeah, do so, not thaw either. So we thought it was edible cookie dough, but it's not. It's you not. It. Nope. Uh, these are the grilled flatbread crisp from Ava's. Ava, yeah. Ava and the smoky gouda garlic. We bought these at Kroger. That's exactly I remember where we bought these at. Kroger over in the uh, that bakery? healthy section. Yeah, where the bakery yeah. is. Yeah. Where the pretzels, um, mm -hmm. those, um, whatever those snack Stacey's factory and all or. That stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but these were just really, really good. The flavor was excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, I would get those all the time. Oh, yeah. Those yeah. And, and the texture is really good, too, because it's really good and crunchy. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Favorite Day. This is uh, Favorite Day is a Target brand. These were uh, rainbow-filled candy straws. I love yeah, these they were things. Good. They're wonderful. You know, I, um, I've said for years that Twizzlers, they took away my favorite... Um, uh, candy apple. Candy apple. The, or caramel the, apple. Caramel sorry. apple. It's filled with caramel on the inside and it's a green apple on the outside. But these are terrific. These, I can't have those, but I could have these and I could eat these. I could go through a whole package of yeah, these. They were very good. Uh, it's supposed to be four servings in here. It's supposed to be. Uh, but they're terrific. Um, then. <coughs> I got three and you got three. Okay. Um, I have some ice cream. This one is the. Is it all? That is 7-Eleven. Ah, yeah, 7-Eleven, because pretty much every ice cream we've had from 7-Eleven, I was looking for Trader Joe's because it kind of has the same coloring and packaging as Trader Joe's ice cream. If you look at that, you might think it's Trader Joe's, except Trader Joe's would make sure they put their name on it. Yes, <laughs> um, But this is 7-Eleven seven, um, 7 Strawberry Banana Shortcake and the Chocolate Fudge Tracks um, ice cream. Both of them excellent. Like I said, pretty much everything that 7-Eleven uh, has is really, really good. Any ice cream. Yeah, we've, we've had a lot of really good ice creams from them. And it's we awesome. have some ice cream in the freezer right yeah. now that yeah. I cannot wait to try yeah. from them. Uh, but um, I love that strawberry banana. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that out of the two, that was my favorite. Yeah. Was the and the chocolate banana. was good. It just had a lot of stuff going on. That's why yeah. we like that. Um, yeah, but it's, you just need to go in there and just decide which which one you want to try because you're not going to go wrong. No. And I don't think the prices are on, on those are bad either. No, it's like, yeah, it's like two fifty three dollars. Yeah, it's like not that, that bad. Okay, these are the Lay's Kettle Cooked Maui Onion. Uh, they came home <laughs> in my suitcase uh, from Hawaii. But now a lot of you have told me you've actually seen these in your stores. Mm. We still have we not. Seen, no. Nope, never seen them here. Um, I'm wondering if that's a West Coast thing because um, I just I haven't seen them in Kentucky. Uh, but I love them. Um, I'm the one that ate them. I ate them um, way too many of them. Uh, but I would get these all the time, and I like lays anyway. They were kind of an onion, but they were kind of a sweet onion. Weren't they, they were. They were a sweet yeah. onion. Um, yeah, that wasn't like. Um, uh, really, really strong. Like no, that. it wasn't like that. It, it was, it was a nice sweet onion. Uh, but yeah, I would get those all the time. Um, this one is, I'll do, I'll do this one next. Uh, this one is the hostess, the new bouncers. These are the cinnamon, um, donuts. Yeah. Yeah. Mini cake donuts filled with real cinnamon cream. And they're like little, uh, donut balls, basically. Mm -hmm. or donut bites or donut holes. That's one thing. I kind of like that, but bigger. And, uh, they're just really good. Just that. Excellent was if you missed that video that was a surprise video because mm -hmm. kevin and i we've talked about twinkies That's Every, about how big they are everybody right knows that you know we'll review twinkies when they come out with new flavors and we're totally willing to give them the benefit of the doubt that they've improved them and they never have no nope, they're, all uh, they're always the same so that was a surprise review because they were all really good mm -hmm. i mean it was like wow uh these are really nice. And the thing that makes them so 
much better is because they all had a coating on them. Mm -hmm. They all have a, a sugary coating. It changes everything about it. It does. Makes Texture, a flavor, yeah. sweetness. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, so we're going to go from that snack cake. Hostess. To Little Debbie McKee Food snack cakes. These are the Snickerdoodle Cream Pies. This was also a surprise because the last time we bought uh, like a... Uh, one of these sandwich cookies is what it looks like to me. They're calling it a cream pie. It was the chocolate chip. They yes. were they were nothing. Yeah, they were okay. nothing. They were I would never get those again. The chocolate chip ones. They were just nothing. These were so good. The snickerdoodle and I've seen these everywhere. They still have tons of them. Mm -hmm. Somebody commented that they were like selling these on eBay or something. And it's we'll like, on eBay. Oh, we have tons of those yeah, here. Tons of them. Uh, yeah, whole displays of them. Mm -hmm. uh, but these, uh, they have sh cinnamon sugar, classic snickerdoodle. The only thing about them is they're really, really small. They are really it small. It was shocking. For the amount of calories the they are, they're really small. They're but all their little snack or cream pies and sandwich cakes are all kind of yeah. you know, small. I don't consider this... This is not my idea of a pie. This is more right. like a soft, soft baked cookie. But you know, they call it what they want. Still was really good. Uh, my last thing is oh. the Little Debbie Pumpkin Delights. So ice Little cream. Debbie and more Little Debbie. Uh, this is new, so they're still in the stores right now. Hopefully, you can get them. They're are they Walmart exclusive? I would yeah. think they would be. Well, um, because Hudsonville makes them for Walmart. They made all the other Little Debbie like inspired flavors. Mm -hmm. This is just the newest one. And it uh, it was really, really good. It didn't taste like the cake necessarily, but it was uh, just an excellent pumpkin, pumpkin spice kind of flavor, pumpkin ice cream. And it had really good cookie pieces in it too, did it, it cake pieces. Yeah, it tasted more like uh, eggnog, honestly. Yeah, and some people said eggnog. that that sold them on trying it because they were kind of leery about pumpkin spice. Some people are. And uh, that when we said it tasted more like eggnog, they were like, well, I want to try that. Yeah. It is absolutely worth yeah, trying. Yeah, it's very, very good. And it's cheap. It's $2.50. For a whole pint. Uh, yeah, to me, that's it's absolutely worth it. Okay, so now I want to show you this. I loved, loved, and you can see it's all gone. I think we just used the last one yesterday. Did I? Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, this is the Cinnabon. Uh, caramel pecan. Uh, we did a review. It's coffee. It's it's coffee. Um, but we did a review of just the regular cinnamon cinnabon uh, coffee in, with this. This is I'm telling you, it is like a dessert. It is terrific. We also this month reviewed the new Twix. It's the donut shop brand, but it's Twix. I like those too, and I didn't save the box to show you during this video. But honestly, if I had to pick between the two, just which one would I buy again and again? It would be this one because it is truly like a dessert. There are no calories. I've had people ask me again and again, no, are there no any calories? calories? No. no. No, because you don't add anything to it. It's just really flavored water. It, it's it's flavored. It's <laughs> like every co coffee is. But it's 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 no different than if you see those like those Jordan skinny syrups in Home Goods, the skinny syrups, and you can add them to your oatmeal or whatever. It's the same idea, except this is uh, uh, this is in coffee, yeah, and it's no calories. Yeah. yeah, and and it's absolutely. I hope you all try it because yeah. it's that good. I there, love it. There is coffee out there. Usually it's not just the pure K-cups that are made. It's usually something you add to them after you like make it. Like a latte. Yeah, yeah, usually they've got like a little cream packet or something like that where you brew your coffee then yes. you pour it in and stir it up. Those usually have calories. Yes. But the, just the coffee generally does not does have Does not have any, calories. no. Now the hot chocolates do. Hot chocolates do or the latte, stuff yeah, like that. But, but not just coffee. No. So Kevin has a channel gonna jump right in. Kevin has a channel called Lunchtime Review and five days a week he uh, review four days a week he reviews frozen food or ready-made food, uh, uh, shelf stable food, stuff like that and then one day a week he goes out to eat. So I had two favorites. I didn't have anything I really hated. Uh, I did give a couple two and a halfs this this month but it's like eh, they were okay. Um, this one is the Boston Market which I most Boston Market most spots, sorry, I turned it the right way. Most Boston Market meals are pretty good. I gave this one a four and a half. I didn't write any notes on it, but it was just a really good flavor. Let's see, this is the with bacon, right? Yeah. Um, 
really good cheesy flavor. The bacon was really good and strong. Uh, the pasta was cooked perfect. I mean, it was just a really, really good meal. And like I said, most Boston Market stuff is pretty good. Uh, and this one says it's new. I don't know how new it is, but it, it, it's fair. We got it at Kroger. And the other one was one Maria sent us from Berlin, Germany. Um, this one is in German. So read it if you want to. Um, it is mashed potatoes with onions and croutons. I'm really surprised I gave this one a four and a half as well. This is kind of like those pot noodles or um, rice uh, noodle bowls or whatever. You put boiling water in it and you let it sit for a few minutes. Um, this was really good. And I was really, really surprised that the croutons still had some crunch to them. Because mm -hmm. you would think if they're sitting in hot water for three or five minutes or whatever it was, you would think they'd get soggy. Mm -hmm. They weren't. They were still good, good oh, and crunchy. Oh, well, that's um, nice. So the onion flavor was excellent. I wrote myself a note. Uh, really good texture. So they weren't like, they didn't taste like instant. They had a good texture to them. And the crunchy grouton. So it was just, just really good. So if you haven't tried those and you're in Germany, go for it. And we, uh, Kevin has been requested to try. There's been two meals that we've been looking for for quite a while. Um, some things, you know, some people think that all Walmarts have the same thing, and they don't. Uh, we learned that a long time ago, that, that, that not all stores just uh, don't have the same things. And there's some bigger Walmarts, and there's some smaller Walmarts, but we... And we've looked in the ones we have we <laughs> around us. Walmart, Meyer, Target, anywhere we go that sells frozen food, we're always Kroger, always on the hunt for these meals. One of them is a, a manicotti meal. Um, and then there's another one we've been looking for as well. I can't even think of what it is. But if you don't see it on his channel, it's not because he's trying, it's avoiding it or won't buy it for some reason, whatever. It's because we don't have it around here. We mm -hmm. look, trust me, yeah, we look. Yeah, we're always looking for new meals. Yeah, but on Thursday, every single Thursday, Kevin goes, uh, Kevin will go out to eat and then a, an, a fast food review or might even be a sit down place will post on Thursdays. So this month during August, Kevin went to Arby's and had the Cajun fish wrap and three piece fish. That's two different things. Yes, three, two things from Arby's. And then uh, he went to Dave's Hot Chicken, which is new to Lexington. Mm -hmm. And he got uh, two tenders with fries. And then he went to Subway and he got uh, number two, it's called the Outlaw Sub. And then uh, lastly, he went to Fazoli's and got the garlic chicken ravioli. Mm -hmm. Now out of these, probably my favorite like flavor wise was mm -hmm. probably the Arby's um, Cajun fish wrap. I really, oh, really liked okay. the flavors of it. The fish by itself was just okay. I mean, it wasn't bad. It just was just, it was okay. Uh, but the seasonings and stuff in the fish wrap were excellent. And I don't normally eat wraps. That was mm -hmm. really good. It was just a really good wrap. Um, Dave's hot chicken, you can skip it. Um, go to, go to Joella's so much better. Um, the tenders were a little bigger at days, but it could be because they're new. Because Joella's, when we first, they opened in Hamburg, me and Tammy go to Joella's like, like literally almost, almost every, every weekend. weekend. Almost every um, when we first started going though, they had some two, you got two really good sized tenders. Now they're about what, this big? They're, they're a little bigger than they're, that. But they're, they're, they're not long, but they're kind of fat, but they're they're not very big. They've gotten smaller. Put compared to what way. they used to be, they're a lot smaller. So Dave's was a little bit bigger uh, tender wise, but um, I bet you they'll get smaller. As time, time goes, goes on, on, they'll probably get smaller. Yeah, they're just trying to encourage you to get in there right now. Yeah. Ooh, look how big these tenders are. And you go back uh, well, a month from now and you're like. Joella's has us hooked on their French fries. Yeah. That's and, where they got And Dave's it. was just okay. Their yeah. fries were just. Joella's French fries. Yeah. I, I, I can literally order just two orders of fries and eat them. Yes. I've raved on. We both have raved on Culver's French fries. They have the uh, Pringle Culver's fries. For years. No, no. Now, Joella's is like the number Salty, one place to get man. French fries now. Yeah, they're good. They're yeah. awesome. Uh, so Dave's, that's one, I'll, I'll probably never go to Dave's again. Even if they get something new, it's like, eh, you know, I'm just, I've been there and done that. Uh, the Subway was good. It was good. It was a good sub. I mean, I didn't have any problems with it all. It was really good flavors. Um, really good. The meat was good on there. I, I didn't have any, it wasn't my favorite, but it was good. Um, the Fasoli's garlic chicken was also very, very good. The ravioli was excellent. It was a cheese stuffed out ravioli. Uh, my only problem with the, with the, the, um, the garlic chicken was you really only got the garlic flavor when you ate the chicken. The Alfredo sauce and the, and the ravioli itself really didn't have that flavor. So you, you got all the flavor when you got the pieces of chicken and everything else was good. It just wasn't as good as when you got a piece of chicken. Right. So you had to make sure you kind of cut the chicken up really good and got a, a piece in every bite. So it was good. My favorite though was that Cajun fish wrap. 
Kevin got a couple of several comments on the subway about I've never seen a subway with a drive through Yeah, and that's probably just because of where's ours. It's like because it used to be like I don't know, it used to be like a, a restaurant Burger King or something. Yeah. I don't I, we can't remember. We were trying to remember when he went there, like Yeah, maybe if somebody's in Winchester, what did it used to be? Yeah, I, we can't remember what it you know, you you get you you're, you've seen something there for years, but then they switch it out, and it's like I can't remember what that was. And before. it's just a regular like square building. It could have been a Dairy Queen for all I remember. I don't even know what it was. Yeah, I just yeah, I literally cannot remember what it was. But anyway, it was just uh, it's just in our town. Subway took it over, and that's why it has a drive through. Mm -hmm. But during those reviews, anytime you know Kevin is going through a drive through. You will see that process. So if, if you're not in the United States, um, uh, or you live in like New York where you don't, you're not driving through in your car, you might be interested in watching those videos because he has that interaction with the uh, people working in the window. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> Most of the time it's good. Um, but. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that if you missed any of these and they sound interesting, you will go back and check them out. I know we do a lot of videos every day and it's very hard to keep up, but there are those of you also that watch every single one of my videos and I, you don't even know how much I appreciate it. And we both greatly, mm -hmm. greatly appreciate that. And, and if you watch my channel and Kevin's channel, I mean, uh, you've got a job there <laughs> doing that. So we very much appreciate it, but uh, we will see you at the end of September for hopefully all good things. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs>